Rocky Mountain Construction is one of the greatest roller coaster companies to ever exist. With record breaking hybrids and first of its kind single rail coasters, this company is arguably the most innovative ever. Their future looks incredibly bright, with many parks clamoring to have the newest record breaking rides. This company is on a roll, and nobody really knows what's next. There are so many questions as to what's next for RMC. Questions like, when is the T-Rex coming? What coaster is the next one to be RMC'd? What does the future look like for this company? And what's happening to RMC as a whole? In this video, I'm going to be discussing all that and more and answering the question of what's happening to RMC. Before we look at the future of RMC, we need to look at what's happening now. In the past, RMC has built 19 coasters, and this year they're building two more. Jersey Devil, a single rail raptor coaster with a custom layout, and Iron Gwazi, the tallest, fastest, steepest coaster in North America. Both of these coasters look amazing and will provide a truly epic ride. Now something to take note of is that these are practically the only rides that RMC is doing for the 2020 season, and both of these rides are record breaking coasters that are really large projects. RMC is continuing to push the envelope when it comes to coasters, and that is a really good thing. Each year the rides become more thrilling and the RMC iBox track and Raptor track keep getting more perfect each time. RMC is super confident in building taller, faster, longer, and more thrilling coasters, and that's why the company is growing so much. They have become so confident with the Raptor and iBox track that one may ask what's next? What's the new type of ride that they will come out with next? Well luckily, we have a few options. The first ride is a T-Rex. If you don't know, a T-Rex is basically like the Raptor but has better capacity and can be built taller. And yes, this thing can be built really tall. Like I'm talking anywhere from 300 to 500 feet or even taller. So far the tallest coaster in the world is 456 feet and it's a completely different ride than the, what a T-Rex would be. So if any company could pass the 500 foot mark, there's a chance it could be RMC. But unfortunately, this coaster is extremely unlikely for at least a couple of years. And I say that because RMC is said to be having a ride that it would be more appealing to parks. There's very little we know about this model, but we do know a few things. This model is supposed to go in between the Raptor and the T-Rex. This means this coaster would probably be a little taller than the Raptors that we see today. And the other thing we know is that the capacity would be better than the Raptor. This means it would seat two riders per row instead of one. This would increase capacity and remove the need for a fourth train. It would also be a more compact coaster than the T-Rex could be. All these things combined would make this ride more appealing to parks than the T-Rex, while still providing an amazing record-breaking ride. Just imagine if the next Giga Coaster was built by RMC. So I definitely say that this model would probably sell better than the T-Rex does, for at least a while anyway. So the future of RMC would involve this mystery ride, but what else would it involve? Obviously, it would involve more record-breaking iBox track coasters and more flawless conversions of old wooden coasters. Speaking of conversions, for the most part, I think it's too early to tell what coasters would get RMC'd, especially because the amusement industry isn't in the greatest shape at this moment. But here are a few rides that I think could get RMC'd within the coming years. Grizzly at California's Great America, Wildcat at Hershey Park, Mighty Canadian Mindbuster at Canada's Wonderland, Roar at Six Flags America, and Predator at Darien Lake. Now do I think all those will get RMC'd? Probably not. But if any coaster would get the RMC treatment within the next couple of years, I'm sure at least two of them would be the ones I named. So RMC's future looks amazing like always, with record breaking coasters and first of its kind coasters sure to come. RMC is completely dominating the entire industry and is changing the way that we see roller coasters. Let me explain. Before RMC, the Outer Bank turn was a really a rare thing, but now even manufacturers like Intamin are catching on and trying their hand at the element. And the same thing happened with the Wave turn. It was a pretty rare element before RMC, and now even B&M is trying it. That's crazy. B&M is the play it safe reliable company. They hardly innovate at all compared to RMC. So that is truly an, an accomplishment. In fact, RMC is adding so much competition to the coaster industry that I believe it is part of the reason that we are seeing all these new types of crazy coasters. Everything from the new Vacomas to the Axis coaster and even the B&M Mysterious Surf coaster is in my opinion directly related to the competition and media attention created by RMC. There is a lot of evidence to lead us to believe that RMC is going to continue getting better and better and that each new coaster will bring us something new and unique. The future includes Raptors, Hybrids, maybe T-Rexes, and that unknown model that goes between the Raptor and the T-Rex. We know the broad stuff, but not the specifics, and maybe that's a good thing. 
Maybe one day we could be checking YouTube and hear of some amazing new coaster by RMC. Maybe it could be an inverted raptor, or maybe the world's tallest coaster. Who knows? RMC is crazy enough, so anything is possible. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see content like this every week, and comment below about what are your thoughts on the future of RMC.